you're gonna be staying stoic, you're gonna be smart. Think one step ahead. Remember, this is chess, not checkers, man. What's up, people? It's your boy, Andrew FAQ, here with you another video. I'm excited for this one. Let's go! So today, we're gonna be discussing five signs that she actually likes you, but you just don't know it. Let's get right to it. Number one, constant sarcasm. Listen, women like to be sarcastic so many times, especially to guys that they like or they're feeling. They'll do it in such a way that you don't know that they like you, but it's a keep doing it, keep tagging at you, keep making fun of you. That is a sign that she actually likes you, but it's almost like this playground bullying. You know? Do you remember when being young and you have these girls that are always picking on the guy? You're like, why do you keep picking on me? It's because she finds you attractive, but she don't know how to express that feeling. And she want to come across that, oh, if I do that to him, he's going to see me as a weirdo. So I'm going to bully him just to not make him feel like uncomfortable, but I actually like this guy. Women have got a funny way of showing how they like you, especially when they don't know how, um, how to portray it. They'll give you choosing signals in a way that you're thinking, do you like me or you don't, are you bullying me? Like, I don't get it. They'll keep making fun of you. They'll see some sarcastic thing like, ah, oh, well, you know I can do that. And you're like, what? What do you mean by that? Don't even say things that will throw you off your guard. And you'll be like, what? Well, that's just random. It's because they don't know how to portray that they actually like you. But how you deal with it is to take it in and throw some sarcasm back. Play that game back. Play that game back. Throw sarcasm back to make it feel like, oh. Then before you know there's a game going on there. You're both throwing sarcasm at each other, taking um, digs at each other in a, in a good way. Obviously, you're not going to start dissing her, making her feel like, obviously, uncomfortable. But you can say certain things that's going to make her laugh and make her feel more shy and thinking, whoa, this guy is, is saying things that are, are random to me, but he's now getting more interested. Because women don't know how to portray themselves sometimes. Especially when they like a guy. They don't know how to approach you. They use the guy's approaching them. So that's why they use this sarcasm. They start to throw sly digs at you. And you're thinking, maybe she'll like me, but trust me, if she keeps doing it, there's a reason why she's doing it. It's because she finds you attractive, but she don't know how to express that feeling. Number two, she always seems to be around you. <laughs> Guys, when a girl is always around you, especially in your peripheral view, where you can just see them when you turn around and she's doing something, working out, she's trying to get your eye contact, but not directly. It's indirectly trying to get your eye contact. And they will do that in a way they will like be around you but not right at you so don't be somewhere where they can see you and you can see them and you look over there and they'll be working out and you'll be like hmm why are you over there why are you always seen watching me i watch you too but i'm going to continue doing my thing and that's when you just got to continue doing your thing keep her guessing like why he's not coming to approach me i'm showing these eye contact i'm i'm being at his vicinity i'm being around him so he can see me but he's not approaching me then she's gonna, she's gonna continue to do that. She's gonna come even more closer where, where she's doing things that are going to catch your eyes. Like even like doing squats in front of you, especially at the gym, doing squats in front of you so you can see her doing that um, in a different motion. You're gonna be like, oh, like, just to get, just to get you like aroused in a way that it, it's playing with you. But what you do is stay stoic. Don't, don't even throw in that, don't even give in in those games because a lot of guys will be like, oh, and before you know, your eye got gonna like, oh, you don't need to do that. You just continue doing that. Why even look at her and the smile kind of doing your thing? And that's when she's going to be more attracted to you. She's going to be like, this guy, he's playing this games. He knows I'm trying to chase him, but he's not giving me much more than just a smile and kind of doing his thing. That's where you're going to fall. You're going to become across a more valuable. You're going to be more chaseable as well. She's going to be chasing you all the time because you are not giving her a lot to play with. You're just giving her a few things to, to go off you're not um, making it obvious that you find her attractive. Even though you do, but you're making her work for it. And that's how you're going to stay more valuable to her. Number three, she talks to everyone but you. <laughs> this happens a lot, especially in a social group. A girl will be talking to every member of the social group, but not you. Guess why? It's because that's the person she finds attractive. That's the person she doesn't know how to approach. She wants to speak to people around you so, she can, so you can see that she's sociable, but she's not going to speak to you because she don't know how to approach you because she don't know how to give you that signal that she likes you. She's going to talk to all your friends and you'll be thinking maybe she likes your friend but she's just doing that just to make you feel uncomfortable, make you feel like, okay, asking him questions but why not asking me questions? She's going to make you feel like, okay, I can talk to everybody else but I ain't going to talk to you because I'm going to make you feel like I don't find you interesting even though she does. 
women got a funny way of showing that they're interested in the man and it's so strange once you understand their nature you'll know how to counter counteract it how to deal with it how to overcome it and get get what you want you got you got to stay stoic at all times because that's when she's gonna be like this guy knows how to deal with women because when you come across like you don't know what you're doing that's when they can put you in a situation where you don't want to be in you're gonna be staying stoic you're gonna be smart think one step ahead remember this is chess not checkers man be one step ahead when she starts playing those games what you do is talk to her friends don't even chat to her talk to her friends ask her friends questions ask the other female members of the group questions and then she'll be like why are you talking to me because now and she sees you laughing with other females that's gonna get her even more heated like damn maybe you don't find me attractive she's gonna now pursue you even more <laughs> i've seen this happen so much in that even in work settings as well when a female likes a guy i see it happen so many times she just talks to all other colleagues but she don't know how to approach you what you do is you do the same thing back play that game speak to everybody else don't chat to her now you might look at her what karen talks to other members and she's gonna be whoa i want to know why he's not speaking to me why what's his problem like can't you see that I find my track? Because they don't know how to how to express that feeling. So what you gotta do is play along with it. Don't give in too much. When you give in too much, once you give in all the attention, she's like, I've got it. I've got the attention. I know he likes me. Don't show that you like her first. Make her show that she likes you first, and make it obvious as well and evident that she likes you first. Then you can pursue further. If she plays those games by talking to other members, um, saying certain things behind your back, make it just don't 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 even um, entertain it. Carry on doing your thing, and when she's ready to show that she likes you by saying, "Listen, I find you attractive," that's when you can pursue it further. Most girls won't do it, but they'll show that other ways to show you that they find you attractive. Tip number four: Always afraid to make eye contact with you. Listen, a woman makes shows submissiveness by looking down on the floor when you look at her. It shows that she can't make eye contact with you because she finds you so attractive. You play along with that. When she does that, you continue to look at her. Make it feel more comfortable because she's going to be like, stop, you're making me feel uncomfortable. She even said that to you, you make it feel uncomfortable because you can't stare in your eyes. You've got her, you've got her so emotionally invested now. You've got her so emotionally invested that she don't know how to deal with it. Now, when you look at her for too long, she's going to look away. She's going to look on the ground because women don't know how to express that feeling. She, she's having a feeling that she's not so used to because she's thinking, I, got, I like this guy so much, but I don't know how to express that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to show him that I like him. But if he starts to stare at me, I don't know what to do myself. So they look on the ground. Women, that's what they do. They look, they look away or they play their hair. I always see women, they start playing their hair, start doing certain things. Like, <laughs> you walk past her, she's fixing her hair. And you're like, mm, that's weird. Yeah, she will talk to another colleague or someone else, a friend, and you walk past her and she starts playing with her hair. That's a sign that she finds you attractive. There's this sly little subtle things that they do, you got to look out for. Like... Then you know that this woman, she's uncomfortable around me. And there's a reason why she's uncomfortable. Because she sees you as this guy. She sees you as a, a suitable mate. She sees you as a suitable partner. And, but she don't know how to express her feelings that's going through her body. She just wanna, she's going to continue just to act weird and, oh, I don't know what to do. Huh? Huh? Like, play with her hair. Like, huh? <laughs> what, what you got to do is she does that, stay stoic. You make her feel more comfortable. Look at her and be like, hmm. Look down at her and carry on doing your thing. Cause trust me, you're just you're just getting over more, more entwined, more invested. Cause she's thinking this guy has got me so emotionally invested. I don't even know what to do anymore. And that's when you have mentally got her before you even physically got her. You mentally got her first. Tip number five: She always talks about a relevant thing. <laughs> Listen, this is funny. Women will start talking about things, their pets, what she had for dinner. Things that are not really interested in the conversation that you're having is just to create conversation with you. That's just to show you that she actually likes you, but she don't know what to say to you. So she's got to talk about things that are not even relevant to both of you. She'll say things about fam family and stuff like that. That's not even relevant to you, like going out on a date. She'll just talk about things that are not in like in the interest between both of you. She's just gonna make conversation just to see where you can go with it. And what you do in that situation, you take that and you carry on the conversation. But then you can lead that conversation where it's, where it's about you two. So what are we going to do? Well, okay, so how about we go on this day? And Desmond should be like, oh, now he gets that I like him. Because they don't know how to they don't know how to get to that stage yet. She's going to talk about all these relevant, irrelevant things, 
from you to get that choosing signal to get her to that point where she's like, oh yeah, that'd be good. I'd like to go on a date with you. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm free. Because now, you, she's giving you all those signals to land on that point to be like, okay, I've given you everything I want. I want you to now initiate the ending, which is like, oh, so let's go on a date and we can discuss further. Like, let's go on a date. Let's go have coffee. Now, she's, most times she's going to be like, okay, that'd be nice. I'd like to go, on, uh, go out for a drink with you. You basically close the deal. Because she, she speaks about all these relevant things and sometimes you just got to go with it. Just go with the flow. Yeah, oh really, yeah, yeah. Even though it might not be interesting, trust me, some of the times they'll be talking, just talking, and you'll be like, gosh, all right, it's relevant. I don't need to know about this thing right now. But you have to go with the flow of it, make her feel comfortable with the conversation, string it along. Then you execute it by, listen, I think we should go out and have a coffee. And take her on a coffee from then, you can pursue further and see if you actually match with her. But before then, Stay stoic, pursue but don't over pursue. Make her give you more signals before you close that deal. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click on the subscribe button, join the team, join the community, FAQ Fitness, FAQ Vlogs. Till next time, peace.